I'm literally starting this vlog so um, quickly just because um, I've literally got like five minutes. Oh, sorry, it's so bright in here. Um, I've got five ish minutes to spare. I'm going to the hairdresser to finally get my hair cut. I've not had it cut obviously since like November. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to go back to Rush because Rush is my fave. I just trust them. They're not the cheapest, but I just think they know what they're doing. And because I don't know anywhere else in London, I'm just so used to my little hometown one um, back at home. So I just trust Rush and always go there. So I've got it booked at four. Um, and yeah, I need to leave really soon. And afterwards, Alice is going to come and meet me and we're going to go to a restaurant that we've never tried before um, in um, Battersea Power Station. So yeah, very excited. It's going to be a nice evening. I literally meant to vlog all day, but I've just felt a bit flustered today. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get going soon. I'll show you my outfit quickly if you can just see my little tiny mirror. Um, so yeah, I've got leather trousers, these Converse style boots from Zara. These are from Nasty Girl. And then I've got on this little Zara um, vest top and a Zara, oh my God, I'm loving Zara today, and a Zara jacket. I'm going to make this more like a weekly style vlog just because, yeah, it's e sometimes easy that way, especially now life is like picking up a little bit again. I've also got some life updates for you. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like vlogs that are all about like London life, I mean like working in London and stuff, make sure you subscribe down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> I'm kind of, mm, I'm just not as happy with that rush experience as usual. Um, he, for one, he took way too much off. Like, I literally said to him, I want to keep it long. And he said, because my hair's so damaged, I need to have loads off. But I was like, I don't want to. Like, I don't care if, obviously I care if it's damaged, but I don't want to have, like, it's just, can you guys see? Like, it's just too short for me. I just hate having short hair. But anyway, I'll just put loads of castor oil on it and then hopefully it'll be all fine and it will grow back quickly. But yeah, I'm a bit... Mm, I don't know. But I'm currently just walking through um, Battersea. I'm trying to get to this restaurant that me and Alice are going to. There's so many pretty blossom trees everywhere. It's so lush. Um, and yeah, the sun's shining. It's kind of getting a little bit chilly now though, so I'm kind of regretting not wearing an actual coat situ. But anyway, yeah, I'll update you when we get to the restaurant. I'm so excited. <laughs> vlogging yesterday um it was just like quite a rushed day and then i had to dash to the hairdressers so yeah i don't think i got much vlogging done but yeah i had my hair done it's not styled so you can't really see it at the moment but um i think i was i was being a bit dramatic yesterday when i first initially initially spoke to the vlog um but i am just i don't know i just i don't like my hair short guys and i'm not saying this is short but for me i just this is just too short and i just oh i just really don't like it which is really annoying like i've never i think i said yesterday i've never gone to rush um and had a bad experience Um, this one i've not been to before but it just the whole thing just wasn't really great and you know i'm paying them 50 bloody pounds i want them to listen to what i'm saying and i understand that my hair i feel like i'm just i'm deep in this a bit too much but you know when it's your hair like your hair is your comfort blanket and i just want it the way i want it and um paying 50 pounds like i wanted him he was such a good hairdresser like he did it so thoroughly but i just wanted him to listen that i didn't want much off even though my hair was like quite broken like i just i didn't want it this short but anyway 
yeah you probably guys are probably watching this and i probably cut it out um you're probably watching it like amy shut up it's fine but yeah it's just one of those things you know i wanted to go back into the world with like fresh hair like the last time i got it done in november the way she did it i loved it and she's got like the bangs spot on and stuff and he's done the bangs but not exactly how i want them so anyway I'm gonna not complain. I'm just gonna move past it and probably just put my hair up <laughs> and put loads of castor oil in my hair so it grows quick. But yes, I hope you are all really well. I promise I'll make this a bit of a better weekly vlog. Um, I hope you've all had like the best start to the April the 12th moment. Um, I definitely have. I was feeling like the last week I've been waking up feeling more anxious than usual um but i've also at the same time felt really happy and just yeah so excited to be doing stuff again like i'm just so excited to be able to explore london properly now and try different restaurants and just yeah do a life here and me and alice can have fun together like i'm just so excited for that um but at the same time like i completely understand if people are feeling overwhelmed and like they don't want to go out yet like that's so fine um you've just got to do what fits with you right now if that makes sense um and i'm aware like i've been posting a lot on instagram of like fun restaurants to try and stuff but and i'm aware that i don't want to like annoy people as such or make them feel like they're not going out um but that is just part of like my instagram and part of what i love doing is showing new restaurants and foodie things so um, yeah um i hope that's not been like annoying anyone too much like I have been feeling aware of that but I just love making like food content and restaurant content so yeah I hope I hope you guys have been enjoying it <laughs> well um yeah I am actually going back to work really soon um I mentioned this on my Instagram stories but I think I probably that noise is absolutely horrendous I think I'll probably address like that whole thing maybe in the next vlog I'm not sure yet just stay tuned in this vlog I might talk about it more but yeah I'm excited to bring you guys work content again because I know that's why a lot of you guys kind of came to my channel um but yeah as today goes I need to finish my makeup and like sort out how I'm gonna style my hair because I'm just unsure um as to what to do with it now um, and then I'm going to hop on the train and I'm going to go meet Charlotte. I don't know if Carrie's going to be there or not, actually. But, yeah, definitely meeting Charlotte. And um, we're going to go up to where she lives and um, we're going to get some content done. And then she's got a dash off to an appointment in Brixton, I think. So probably won't spend too long there. But, yeah, that's the plan. And then for the rest of the afternoon, I just want to be productive and kind of have a bit of a chilled afternoon just because I know I've got so much going on socially right now. And I really want to make sure, like, I'm also just chilling before work starts again so i'm thinking i've got this t-shirt on which i've actually already shot but i didn't really like the pictures so kind of want to get like a casual jeans t-shirt vibe um and then this outfit i've got these three pieces are from Shein, not gifted i just um did an order from them um so like pink vibes with jeans and then i've got this really cute like ruche dress from mini dress from lily lulu zara jacket which i literally wear a non-stop and then some knee-high boots so i'm thinking that'll be a cute new look a cute pink look and then more of like a casual vibe and i know i didn't vlog too much at the restaurant last night but um it was obviously i was with allison <laughs> you went when I, I like a lot of my friends aren't obviously they don't do instagram and youtube so i don't always want to be like filming everything um so yeah that's i didn't film too much but i am gonna upload i think i'm gonna upload real today i'm thinking of the restaurant so you can see it in more detail and like look at the food more on my um instagram reels i'll probably put it on tiktok too um yeah just in case you guys are interested in that little area around battersea power station it was honestly stunning like i am so happy i've explored that area because i will be going back i'm going back on sunday so yeah um if you want to see more of like foodie stuff in london i have um i do loads on my instagram on my reels and tiktok so yeah i'm gonna get ready now and properly stop rambling <laughs> some pics in this space in this space i literally look like i'm talking to the gate <laughs> um yeah this is outfit 
Shot has got this really nice little green number little green with some boots. Shirts with some PLT. So cute. And I've got on a dress, my Zara jacket again. I actually wear this every day of my life. And some Zara, oh uh, no, Nasty Gal boots as well. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the next train um, to arrive and I've just got some little snacks because I was absolutely starving. I felt so faint. Um, me and Shard felt so hungry so we got some little snacks from M&S. I got these salt and vinegar twists, yum, and I also got a cheese and ham sandwich, a little basic, but... So I actually ended up walking half of the way back. Like the, the, one of the best things that's come out of lockdown for me is like knowing my way around parts of London that I wouldn't have known before if I didn't have to walk everywhere. So I um, got off halfway off the tube and then walked the rest of the way home, which is really nice. It's like nice to know where I'm going um, more now. Like I'm getting to know area is so much better after having like having to walk places instead of getting the tube so i walked home on the way back i stopped i went around a few shops i really wanted to get some new containers for the fridge but there was no cheap pods in poundland i don't want to pay like sainsbury's prices for food containers so yeah i'm gonna wait until i can get to like somewhere with more options or like a bnm or something um but i stopped at sainsbury's just to get a few foody bits um, just a little top up because I've got all my Hello Fresh, um, but I just need like a few little top up bits. So I got the um, Dolce Gusto Cafe Latte Macchiato pods. These ones are my favourite. They are honestly not cheap, but they are like the price of buying one coffee out, so it's just so worth it. Um, I also got some of the Monin caramel syrup. This was reduced to two pounds fifty, which I think is so decent for Monin. Um, so that is going to be yummy and the caramel one i have not had this one in ages so i might make a coffee now and see um if i like this one as much as the hazelnut i also need to edit some videos so this will keep me going i got some apple juice for my smoothies and then also um some more frozen pineapple for my smoothies because i'm just loving a green juice at the moment i don't know if i've properly shown you guys my recipe but um i will try and remember to show you guys tomorrow um morning when i have one having a little chill out i've just finished editing a video um i've been going through a bit of instagram stuff on my phone oh the charger's just come out one second guys oh dear um and then yeah so i've just been doing a bit of chill out i bought this new 2021 diary from paper chase and it's kind of like low-key a little bit sparkly I just love it so much guys paper chase right now have the best sale on ever so this was supposed to be 14 pounds because it's a really nice like a really nice one and i got it for three pounds which is just amazing because diaries i always find that nice diaries are really not that cheap so i was so happy about this because basically in paper chase at the moment they were doing a sale where everything is like half price more or less but then you also get another percentage off the or the sale if that makes sense so i got this and like some new pens and stuff for work um for when i'm going back so yeah if you guys are going back to work and stuff i really recommend popping into paper chairs and having a look at their sale and then i've just been reading a bit of grace beverly's book i've put this on my instagram stories and a few of you guys have asked what it's like and i wouldn't say I think she has slightly overcomplicated it, I can't lie. When I'm reading it, it really reminds me of reading academic journals at uni and it's not like the most calming read. So 
yeah i don't know i was kind of i'm not exactly sure what the angle she's going at is with it yet but i've not read enough to really form an opinion on it so yeah i'll let you guys know how i get on with it but it is really honestly don't get me wrong it's super interesting i can definitely relate it to a lot of what she's saying but i just don't yeah i just find it a bit much like the way she words things is kind of like I don't think it needs to be quite worded in such like a complex way or we'll scroll through Pinterest, which is what I spend too much of my time doing, guys. I love it so much. This look that Hayley Bieber, is it going to click, um, has done is just insane. Like, she looks so cool. I can't. Um, yeah, I just love scrolling down in, um, Pinterest and getting, like, inspiration for my own looks and stuff she looks cool i love that um so yeah i'm just gonna do a little bit more scrolling oh my god how adorable is that so cute okay guys so right now as usual you're perched in my kitchen cupboards um i'm gonna make for dinner my halloumi pepper and sweet corn tacos i've not tried this one yet so i'm really excited i'm just munching on some m &S, um crust. also if you want my um, if this is not an ad by the way, I don't get it gifted or anything, but if you want my um, link, I'll leave it down below and it basically gets you um, a HelloFresh box for £6 instead of £20, which is just unreal. And it's fun because you can just literally have it the one time and cancel it if you don't want to carry on with it. Um, but it's just so good, like it makes me just try so many different meals, it makes me properly cook and enjoy cooking. Um, especially if I have like a glass of wine or something, which I don't actually have, I'm trying to be good this week because at the weekend... I went a little bit, well, I didn't actually go too hard at all, but I just drank a lot, obviously, first weekend of freedom and all of that. And I know that this weekend I'm going to probably be drinking a lot as well. So um, during this week, I'm just not trying to drink too much. Apart from, oh, wait, no shit, actually. What am I on about? I literally had those two Proseccos last night, didn't I? Anyway, we move. doing a little bit of social media work i don't know what's wrong with me this morning but i just feel so like tired i slept really badly i'm really struggling to wake up um and i'm a bit annoyed because i really wanted to go to the gym this morning before i go out later but i think i'm just going to go tonight instead when i actually have the energy to go because i just don't feel great to be honest i feel very run down so anyway i'm gonna start the day well and i'm gonna have my favorite fuel um protein boosted granola if you know you know and if you don't know get to know this is literally the best like the best granola lovey it's so yummy i'm gonna have a little bowl of this and also make myself an iced coffee so i'll pop you on a time lapse and then yeah i'll be back with you just been watching this morning i've got a mark on my top that's not cute um been watching this morning there was such a brave lady on it and she was talking all about um emotional abuse with, like between her and a partner her partner has ended up in prison and yeah i just put on my instagram stories if you do one thing today go back and watch that because it's so informative and not many people unless you've know someone that's been through it or you you've been affected by it somehow you, not many people actually know about what goes on so i just think that's such an interesting interview that really needs to be highlighted so yeah i've been watching that which is really good i've decided my outfit this is my outfit um pretty much what i wore the other night when we went to um 
the restaurant um just added this bag which is from zara um so yeah i'm just gonna grab a bit of hello fresh leftover and then i'm gonna roll because i'm uh, yeah i need to dash in like 10 minutes and i really want to eat lunch quickly so i don't have to buy anything out but yeah cute outfit and let's go I meet mean, oh have i even said what i'm doing I'm basically going to go meet Emily, um, some of you guys might know her from Let's Get M, her Instagram, um, and I've not seen her in months, and she's just moved like 10 minutes up the road to me, so I'm going to go see her, and we're going to wander around her area, I'm just so excited. Before I quickly um, go, I need to leave in 5 minutes. The package that I just had delivered, oh my god, I'm actually quite shocked. So my manager, who helps with like, my socials, texted me the other day and she was like, I hope it's alright, but I've put you on the keels. PR list and I was like um that's fine <laughs> that is fine oh my god and then they've sent me something and I just cannot believe it like Kiehl's is life if you don't know I'm sure most of you know what oh my god this is what I need in my life no this is an actual pinch moment like I can't believe Kiehl's have sent me stuff like me and my mum are obsessed with their skincare my auntie she loves their skincare like Oh my god. They sent me a package. Um, this is their Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I mean, if that is what not what I need right now, I don't know what it is. Insane. So I'm going to try this tonight. I'll try it with you guys on camera. Oh my god, my mum is going to be so jealous. She's going to die when she knows about this. And they've also sent me a little, like, um, kind of um, mask applicator in a little pouch. Oh my god, I'm actually dead. This is just... A very cool moment for me um they've got some information about the mask i'm guessing maybe this is a new mask um it says it unclogs it helps with clogged pull up pores blemishes it helps you relax unwind it's soothing sustainably sourced amazonian white clay wow okay We had such a good catch up. We didn't spend too long just because we both had other stuff on today, but we literally live so close. So it's gonna be so nice having another friend, like just to meet for coffee and stuff. And yeah, I just love her. So I'm so happy she has moved so close to me. I popped into Sainsbury's on the way home and I picked up these, which are just so cute. Oh my God, I'm actually dead. Um, they are, <laughs> dramatic. They are solar star string lights. So they're basically for the balcony and they're little stars. I mean, how cute. It's just, just so cute. I'm hoping that the weather's going to be warm enough this weekend to sit out on the balcony. So I thought, you know, while it's warming up, these were only £12.50 and I think they're just going to look super cute. Not exactly sure how I'm going to attach them. I'm hoping you can just like, they'll just stay like entwined around the balcony rail. But I might actually do this with you later on camera. Oh, the sun's looking lovely. Um, but um, for now, I'm just going to run to the gym quickly before it gets too busy. It's like three, quarter past three now. And I'm so much preferring the gym when it's quieter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. And then when I get back, I will make with you my yummy smoothie that I've been making. Because I really want to show you guys exactly what I put in. Because it's just chef's kiss. It's so good. And I'm so excited about these. Honestly, guys, Sainsbury's has such a good outdoor home section um and the prices are pretty reasonable as well so if you're looking if you've got like a little balcony that you want to do up for summer definitely recommend Sainsbury's home and yeah the habitat range they do so many cute different fairy lights they don't they didn't have any like plain fairy lights but I'm actually thinking that when it's darker little stars are going to look so cute like look at those just adorable um but anyway, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and hopefully make myself feel really good. I've honestly been enjoying the gym so much, guys. Like, probably the most I've ever enjoyed it in my life. Um, I don't really know why. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting back into it and then I might hate it again. I just don't know. But I'm really going for it. I'm, like, trying all the new, new machines that I don't usually do. Uh, and I really want to, like, see changes for once, if you know what I mean. Like, I want to really put in a bit of work and effort, especially while I'm on furlough. Like, get the practice and get into the groove of going. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. And then I will be back with you um oh my god i'm really excited to put them up i want to put them up now but i know that if i put them up now i'm talking so fast i need to calm down um 
it's gonna get busy at the gym and I just don't like that vibe. So he's gonna wait. Um, but yeah, super cute. <laughs> So I just got back from the gym and I don't know if I've already showed you this movie or not in this vlog, like I actually can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to go through it with you in proper detail because I think I might have done a time lapse of it. Um, so for the smoothie that I'm currently absolutely loving, I am missing one ingredient and that is mint. Mint makes it super fresh but it's still really good. So I'm going to use like three quarters of banana, please excuse how black it is, it's absolutely vile but the banana itself is actually fine so yeah i'm using banana because it just makes a really good base for the for the um juice but i don't use a whole one just because it makes it too thick and i'm really enjoying like the juice consistency at the moment if that makes sense so pop the banana in oh and while i make it i'm also going to finish off one of these fuel um protein drinks just because i'm trying to keep my calories up at the moment and also keep my protein in rather than being in like a calorie deficit i want to try and like just keep it at a good level if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna have this while I'm um, making my smoothie. And I pop in quite a lot of um, frozen pineapple. I absolutely love frozen pineapple. It's so good in smoothies. It makes it taste so fresh. And obviously just put as much or as little as you want of each ingredient into your own smoothie. And then I plop in, <laughs> plop in, um, loads of spinach, like a good handful. I'm actually running quite low, so I'm not going to use as much as I usually use just because I want one tomorrow as well. And then put all that in. I add some Argave syrup. You could use honey, literally anything, but this is a little bit healthier, I think. So I just pop some of this in for sweetness. And then I'm just going to chop up a lemon and squeeze like a quarter of a lemon into it. I really love the juices that taste like super like zesty and fresh. So yeah, squeeze lemon into it. I think lemon's really good. It has like an antioxidants in it. So that's really good for you. So to give it the kick, I use like probably this much fresh ginger. I chop it up and the blender seems to like um, blend it really well. So yeah, I just chop this up and stick it in as well. Gives it a nice kick. If you're not a fan of ginger, then it might not be for you, but I love like the fireiness. <laughs> and then loads of apple juice for the yumminess. And last step, I add in some of my um, collagen powder. I've actually used like this much of it. It's really going down. Um, and this is the one by Vital Proteins. It looks like this. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm noticing any difference or not, guys, but I know it's good for you. So I'm just going to whack it in anyway. I use a full um, little spoon of it. And this one, you can't taste it, which I really like. I don't like it when you can taste powders, so. but we move i'm just gonna take off my makeup using what you're actually currently placed on um the clinique take the day off farm um yeah it's this one look how nearly empty it is oh my god i think after this one i'm going to move on to the body shop camera one it's the same thing I'm thinking that'll be good and calming for my skin so yeah i take quite a lot of this to be fair and then i just take my makeup off straight away oh my god isn't a fresh um like tub of skincare just so satisfying oh my god it'd be so satisfying oh my god okay are you ready oh my god this is the most satisfying thing ever wow who knew putting a face mask on could be so much more bougie with like a proper thing to put it on oh my god this feels unreal guys oh my god is that um satisfying to watch or i'm just gonna apply this and then probably just chill out for the evening really basically tomorrow i've actually i don't think i've told you guys but i'm going for lunch with my manager um 
near the office because I'm going back to work in like two weeks so yeah I'm really excited to see her and like have a catch up I'm really close to my manager so yeah it's just like not so normal just to go for lunch together um I've not seen her in so long so literally before Christmas that's crazy actually so I'm really excited for that and she's gonna like basically just fill me in on everything that's been happening at work so I'm like more in the loop and stuff because obviously I've been on furlough for what like four or five months now so I do feel like quite out of the loop to be honest of everything that's the, of everything be going on so it'll be nice to feel like more involved again and obviously before I go back to work it's nice to like be a bit brief on what is actually going on so yeah if you guys are new here I work in um digital marketing for a restaurant company Raymond Blanc's um restaurant company and yeah i've been there for over a year now like a year and a half but obviously a lot of that's been spent on furlough so yeah hopefully this is like the last time that i'll be on furlough and this, this and hopefully this time is like me actually going back to work properly but i know we'll say um yeah that was very enjoyable I, i've literally covered my face guys they look so pretty oh my god i love and when i'm like even when i have the door shut they're gonna look so cute outside oh my god love just got myself a little um m and uh sleep time tea my absolute favorite you guys need to get this it honestly like makes me wind down so much for the evening and i'm gonna get to bed i'm gonna watch something in bed i think and just chill out um also our gas our gas hubs have stopped working tonight which has just been a bit stressful really um it's like not ideal because we obviously can't cook anything um so i've emailed our estate agents about that hopefully we'll get that fixed tomorrow i also gave um the flat a massive tidy and a massive clean um i need to do the bathroom tomorrow i think but yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog i love you all so much and i will see you in my next one Mwah.